for one. All right, we are zooming on virginiapreps.com. It's our first Zoom cast of 2023. Matthew Hatfield here, and we're pleased to be joined by a special guest. He's not only the head boys basketball coach of the Floyd County Buffaloes, I believe checking in at number three in our latest Virginia Preps Class 2 Top 10, fresh off a of victory over Allegheny on Thursday night. I think his standout, Caden Swartz, will drop like 35 points. He's a two-sport stud for his Buffaloes, but they have the annual Chance Harmon Classic. Uh, this weekend out at Floyd County, it's always a huge basketball event for a great cause. And here to talk about all that and so much more is Coach Brian Harmon. Coach, Happy New Year. How's life been? It's been great. Busy, busy, busy. But it's it's been really good. Excited about the weekend. Good deal. And I, I got that right. You got a win over Allegheny. What are you up to now record-wise? Uh, seven and three. We dropped uh, James River by in overtime on Tuesday and then uh, went to Allegheny, which they're really good. Tough ride up there. Long trip. But uh, guys played well last night. Yeah, it's great to see you got a good squad. I split a couple of tough ones with Lord Botetot. You mentioned James River, who was in the state playoffs last year. Radford's no slouch. That Three Rivers district is mighty, mighty good, as usual, and competitive once again. Well, for those who don't know about the Chance Harmon Classic, fill them in on just the genesis because you're the brainchild behind it. Uh, you lost your uh, son, uh, Chance, several years back, uh, but you're doing a lot of great things in his memory for a good cause. Yes, sir. So 16 years ago, we lost Chance uh, in 07, and uh... – it's actually Rick Cormney, which me and Rick have had a lot of battles on the court. But uh, Rick came up with an idea that, hey, we need to keep his name out there. And uh, we were looking last night because I got all the T-shirts lined up on the baseline there from all the teams. And the first one, I think, had Giles and Radford and Auburn and Patrick. It was all local teams. And we thought we were – and those were really, really cool teams at that time. But what it's done over the last 16 years, um, you know, we lost chance to a brain tumor and, like I said, 07 there. And uh, – we just wanted to make something bad uh, into something good. And uh, the teams now, it's just unbelievable who reaches out and wants to be a part of it. Um, it's grown so much over the last several years. And right now we're just trying to top it from last year, but it just continues to grow. And it's tough because I want to get so many teams in it and so many teams wanting to be in it, but uh, it's just hard to get everybody in there. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, I remember the year Bam out of bio planning your event. I was out there now an all-star for the Miami heat miles bridges and Huntington prep with Curtis Jones and a game winner that year that Cape Henry hit. I mean, I get asked a lot about this with our Virginia preps classic and you've been doing it more than a dozen years. You know how many NBA players you've had in, in this thing and how many pros, because the list just grows and grows and grows and the memories and, and fun times certainly continue to, uh, you know, move upward, if you will. Yeah, the first year, you know, uh, Dustin Hollinsworth helps me a lot. He played for me, and he's a he's a big-time cog to make this thing go. And after about six, eight years, he said, why don't we try to get some of the bigger teams? And I'm like, well, why would they come here? We got one stoplight. I said, why are they going to come and play in our gym? He's like, I don't know. It's worth a try. And I'll never forget, I reached out to Rob Fulford. He's at Akron now, and he's with Huntington Prep at that time. They had Andrew Wiggins, number one player in the country. I called him and said, Rob, would you be interested in coming down and playing a little small event we do? And he's like, well, what do you do it for? And I told him, I said, well, I lost my son to brain tumor. He said, you tell me when and where and I'll be there. And I lined him up with uh, Wesley and Christian on a Saturday. And we had him against Theo Pinson. Um, Harry Giles may have been a young person on that team. I can't remember exactly, but I'm Theo Pinson's on the team. And the crowd that night. That was when it really got big. And, uh, I mean, we were probably six, eight, ten deep on the baseline. And I'll never forget the school came to me the next year, and they're like, uh, we can't do that again. We had too many people. But the atmosphere in this gym, we hold probably 2,000. And I bet there was 3,000 people in here. But the atmosphere was unreal. So to have guys like that, Wiggins and Bam and Miles Bridges, Dwayne Bacon, Mo Alley Cox, uh, the Edmonds boys. I mean, there's just so many people that have come to play here. And I think that's what makes our event a little bit different than everybody else because we got really big teams. Mm -hmm. But this year, the local teams, the town of local teams we've got are going to be unreal. Well, and you do it, I think, a lot. Me, you're looking for a good, competitive, exciting matchup. doesn't matter if you're the team with five Division One players or you're the small 1A, 2A school. You're looking for right. just fun basketball that can appeal to all different people out there and let me go through the lineup you got tell me if i got anything wrong i think as we are recording this now you got the reigning state champs uh and uh, coach mill irons auburn team taking on christiansburg you've got carroll county allegheny coming up jefferson forest versus blacksburg william well winston salem christian out of north carolina uh it looks like they're are they in action at 4 30 do i have that right I don't know if i'm looking they at that are right. playing okay. um uh they're playing 
Uh, Miller, I believe. Yes. Miller, okay. There you go. Miller School, who's uh, got a good squad led by, uh, I know, uh, Ethan Delorier, or Eli Delorier, who's a big time player in the middle there. Radford, class two contender, as always. Rick Cormany just matched uh, Bill Littlepage of the day for second all time in wins, taking on Laura Botetot. Then you got a slam dunk and three point competition before the Blue Ridge versus Combine Academy matchup. So it's neat. You have a little break with the dunk contest, three point contest. Some people don't love it anymore in the NBA, but I know the kids and the fans get into it. Yeah, it's really cool. I'll tell you the cool thing this year, too, is – and you look at Saturday's games. We haven't got to them yet, but my daughter's been ever playing. First girls game ever, and she was supposed to play in it last year, and uh, we're really excited about this. It's going to be emotional. She's going to be shooting a three-point competition tonight, so we're excited to see her be able to play in her brother's bench. She was two when he was passing away at four, and so she, she's really excited to be able to play in it. And correct me if I'm wrong, your daughter Destiny is committed to USC Aiken Division II school in South Carolina. Is that right? That is correct. That is correct. So good deal. So kudos to her. She gets a chance to maybe make some uh, some uh, noise in the event and have a, have a moment that uh, she can certainly look back on from years from now. Uh, coming up on Saturday, you've got James River taking on Pulaski County morning game. East side, Coach Patrick Dameron always does a great job. So does Casey Johnson and Alta Vista. That should be a fun chess match with those two teams. Uh, watch out for Eli McCoy. He's a good ball player for East side, and I say that even as a Hatfield, giving him McCoy a shout out there. Alta Vista's got Stuart Hunt too. North side, reigning Class Three state champs Billy Hope. Billy Pope just got his 600th career win. He's got an awesome squad. Even some sophomores contributing mightily with uh, Michael Harvey and Cy Hardy taking on EC Glass, who's really making some noise. Just had two hellacious battles with Spotswood. Beat him once, lost to him once. Oh, by the way, Spotswood in a Class 3 showdown. Chad Edwards does an excellent job taking on Jacob Gruse's defending state champs over there at Cave Spring. So, I mean, we got two programs that have won state titles in Class 3 with Northside and Cave Spring here recently. Spotswood's going to be in the mix there as well. Miller School and Combine Academy. Uh, you got the girls matchup with Floyd County versus Cave Spring, and then your boys of Floyd County taking on Union, who's just a couple seasons removed of, of a, class, a Class 2 state championship over there with Zach Moore and the Bears. And then your nightcap on Saturday with Winston Salem Christian and Blue Ridge. So a lot of great games. If people want to come out to this, if they're in Southwest Virginia near the uh, neck of the woods of Floyd County, or they want to watch it online, tell them how they can do so, the tickets, and also, Brian, how they can contribute to your great cause. Yeah, so we're doing a weekend pass or we're doing individual days. Um, and if you can't make it, I know Baller TV is streaming it as well. So that will be a way you can watch it as well. Um, donation wise, you go to our Facebook page. We've got a lot of silent auction items. We've got a lot of tickets, NBA tickets, Carolina tickets, uh, Virginia tech tickets. So there's, there's a lot of different ways that you can help and support. And, you know, as, as I, as we talk and I'm like, we, we given to scholarships, we've given back to Duke. When I say we, it's everybody that supports this. It's you doing this interview. It's the guys out here running up down the floor. It's the referees out here. It's the people donating. It's the volunteers. That's we. So when we help these kids, whether it's another day in the hospital to live or whether it's helping them go to a school that they're of their dreams, it's all of us. And that's what everybody did for us when we were going through our, and that's, that means more to me than anything, whether anybody makes a basket, anybody wins games this weekend. It's just like the situation Monday night with the NFL guy. You saw what everybody went to and the prayer. And I mean, it's, it's shown and now he's uh, hopefully improving and uh, just unbelievable, unbelievable what prayer do and uh, just seeing the support from the community and around the, the surrounding areas just uh, it means more to us as a family than anybody will ever know. You're absolutely right. You mentioned Demar Hamlin, that scary situation, that Monday night game with the Bills and the Bengals, and now his GoFundMe page is taken off to, I think, now upwards yeah. of $7 million. He's just trying to raise 2500 bucks, and it's just it's exactly. awesome to see he's doing better and improving, and it's great to see you're making an impact, you know, beyond the game of basketball and in memory of Chance. Um, and I, I'm sure he's looking down on us all, smiling with, with all that's happened with this event, Brian. And um, you're, you're so spot on because in, in doing my classic for many years, I've heard the same thing. Well, we, we love what you're doing. It's like, no, it's not a one person. It's a collective. It takes a village, as someone once said, to get it all done and do everything you do with it. So kudos to you with the event. It should be a fun time out there. Hopefully you'll bump into a couple of our uh, Virginia prep staffers like my man Rodney Young and if Robert Anderson or uh, – Ray Cox poked their head in there at Floyd. So um, have a good time out there. It should be fun. I'll be watching from afar in, in Virginia Beach before I get back on my travels with ODU Women's Hoops. And uh, all the best to you on your uh, hopeful journey to maybe a march to the march in the single center this year. Man, I'd love to see you in Richmond. That's my plan. But it hadn't worked out yet, but that's my plan again this year. Well, listen, if you keep knocking on that door, eventually it's going to open or you'll bust it down and you'll get through. So you just got to take care of that Cormany guy who you might it's run into or you will run into at some point. 
man, I, I like I like Rick. Me and him have a good good relationship, and then we probably want to kill each other during the game. But man, it's it's great. He's got a phenomenal. I told him the other day that uh, I guess it was last year when he won his uh, I don't know seven hundredth maybe uh, maybe last year I, I can't remember. And I told him they did a wrong times did an article and I said well he needs to give me a credit of it because about a hundred of them are mine. So uh, he 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 does a phenomenal job and uh, has always been a big supporter of our foundation and what we're trying to do. And uh, even though we may not seem like we're we're close, uh, stuff like that means a lot to me because one day that ball's gonna quit bouncing and. Uh, it, it, those relationships are going to last forever. For sure. Friendships and relationships, they go beyond just the wins and losses. And we've had some remarkable coaches like Cormany with his milestones, and they're still going to keep it coming. Uh, Billy Pope at Northside with his. Robin Dotson on the girls' side with Central Wise. Yep. And even my my radio co-host on ESPN 94.1, he's coming up on 500 wins uh, over at uh, Nans. Remember, Ed Young, who does a lot of our state championships with us on the NFHS Network. Well, uh, all the best to you, Brian. One last time, tell the folks the website. Is it chanceharmon.org if they want to see more info? Where can we find that out? Sometimes we go O-N, but it's dot org, and uh, just appreciate your support out of everybody. Thank you so much. All the best to you all and uh, Floyd, and we'll uh, do it again sometime soon. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, man. You bet.